let's use Generative Fill to combine two images in Photoshop Beta. Before we begin, remember this is a Photoshop Beta feature and not a Photoshop. Come to your Creative Cloud account and make sure you have Photoshop Beta app downloaded. Let's open a new image in Beta. Select both images by holding Shift and click Open. Select the first image, remove the background lock, zoom out with Command or Control minus, select the crop tool and let's increase the canvas size to the left so that we can put the other image to the left and combine them in the middle. Release and go to the selection tool. Let's select the second image, Command or Control A to highlight the image, Command or Control C to copy, come back to the original image, Command or Control V to paste the image in. Now let's arrange the images. Select this layer, select transform image, scale this image down, and move this to the left hand side. For the best results, try to get both your images at a similar scale to each other and also try to match the color profiles as best you can. Also be conscious of where your light is coming from in both images. Press enter to set this image in place and then if I want I can use tools such as the color balance to match this color profile to the other image for the best results. So I'm going to make this a little greener and a little darker and press OK. Once I'm happy that both images are in place, press Command or Control A to highlight the whole image, select the Marquee tool, hold Alt, and then click and drag over the areas you don't want the generative image to fill. So I'm gonna click and drag over the mountain and the trees, and I'm gonna leave a little edge of that image so that the generative fill knows what to pull from. Hold Alt still and do the same on the other image. So click and drag over, leaving some of the sky and the grass in place so that the generative image can use those to generate the image in the center. Release. So now I have this section selected for my generative fill. From there, simply click generative fill. I'm not gonna add any prompts. I'm gonna let Photoshop decide what this should look like and press generate and let's see the results. And there you have it, some incredible results. So if you come to your properties panel, scroll down, you can then select the variations as long as you're selected on generative layer. So let's look at the second one. And finally, let's look at the third one. So I think that third one is looking pretty epic. And at any time, you can also regenerate using the generate button here. So there you have it. That's how to use the generative tool in the new Photoshop beta to combine two images together. Remember, the more you can keep the images in scale with each other and the more you can match their color profiles, the better the results you'll get at the end of it. Have fun with this awesome new feature. See what amazing graphics you can generate and let me know in the comments how you get on. Until next time, keep on designing and I will see you for the next tutorial.